So how to keep criminals for, from committing more crime? Well, that's a question parents, police, judges, everyone has wondered for years. Tonight, Keiko Guerin shows us how about some cash? Richmond, one city on paper, two in reality. It's about trying to survive, not trying to be killed. The north side border, Lincoln Avenue, south, Ohio Avenue. You can't go nowhere without getting into it with somebody. If you see somebody that don't like you, they don't want to fight you. I want to do something to you. Been this way for years. Our daddy's daddy's daddy had a problem with the guy over there. The expectation that we're going to go to war. It got really bad in 2007. 45 people shot and killed. It's basically genocide, you know what I mean? People killing each other. Now, seven years later, North still hates South and South still hates North, but there's one big difference. Gun violence is down by half. Why? Because one man decided to do something no one else had. There's a gunshot here. Devone Bogan said the solution was in the streets. Get to the guys with the guns before they pull the trigger. Of the 45 homicides that year, 200 plus firearm assaults, they believed that 17 people were responsible for 70%. Devone thought, what if he found those 17 people and worked with them? So he started Operation Peacemaker Fellowship. The mission, help those most likely to kill and be killed. This work is primarily about changing a mindset. So what did he do differently? Put these young men in a program for a year and a half, giving them the basics, mentors, life planning and job development, but also a paycheck. Anywhere between $300 to $1,000 a month. The guys can start earning six months into the program. Mentors help them build a life map, basic goals, get a job, find a safe place to live, and harder goals, become friends with a mortal enemy. And based on what they get done, they get paid. A little bit of help goes a long way. For guys like LaVon Carter, this was a more honest way of living. LaVon spent time in federal prison for pimping. I found myself in my situation because I was greedy. You know what I mean? And I didn't want to I didn't want to go to school and have to work hard for nothing. I wanted everything the easy way. This program gave him that extra help and more. And that's it. <laughs> this you know, is just you know, hard hat. These are the keys to Levon's new job. A construction worker. Without the program, I probably wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now. It's not riches or big money, but it's a job that gets Levon from one day to the next. And to him, that's success. <laughs> right. To see these young men want to live, desire to live. Uh, <laughs> I'd give anything and have given a whole lot to see it. In Richmond, Kate Kogirin, KPIX 5. Now there is something we want to make note of. Less than half the guys get paid and those who do get the money are from do private donors, not taxpayers. And there's still the issue of North versus South, a battle this program is trying to change. How? We'll tell you more about that tomorrow night.